Hi, it's Fiona Fernandez from Piemont, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. So these are all Stampin' Up products, and some of them are on sale at the moment. So make sure you check out the website, stampinup.fionafernandez.stampinup.net, and go to the Shop Now section. And these are the gorgeous pansy dies, and they come in a packet like this. They're a bit messed up at the moment, and Pansy Patch is the stamp set that coordinates with it. So you can do all this stamping as well and die cut things. So I'm just die cutting a whole lot of pieces to make a card that... Um, was in the annual catalogue the current annual catalogue so it looks like this and it's got lots of die cut pieces so I thought I'd do one similar to that and then I'm going to do another one I've already done some masking for another card a bit of fun so I just thought I'd show you a quick I'm not going to put the whole card together now I'm just going to show you how I put these on Oops, my things moving up there so with these little pieces here, it can be quite fiddly putting those on, but if you do it this way, let me just put those ones together, so here's some more. So I use the silicon sheet. These are so handy for lots of reasons, especially for gluing, because the glue just rubs off it when it's dry. So you turn that piece, the die cut piece over, so that's the right side, that's the wrong side, and you'll find that the little petals match up perfectly so if you look at it before you put your glue on see so I'm going to put my glue on this side like this I often hold things in my hands if your glue is getting a bit down just shake it a little bit to get it down the top just be careful you don't want too much glue so I'll just spread that out a tiny bit I don't want it all over the place and then I'm just putting a tiny little bit like that and then get your petal it right side down and just look at where it lines up so there's a little knobbly bit there that I can see this little knobble bit here so I'm going for that piece to line it up put it on pop it down do a little press and if any glue squeezes out it doesn't matter on this sheet which is really handy and it's so easy look at that I'll do another one and we've got leaves to do as well. So it's just a really quick little tip for any die sets like this. There's a few actually. I'm going to do some more with the daisies too later. Get some more daisy cards done. I've got a stall next Saturday. 27th of April. So if you want to buy some cards, I'll be there. Check my website for where I'm going to be. And look how easy that is. You know, if it's a little bit off, you just slide it a tiny bit. So I always push with one thumb and pull with the other when I do things like easing things across. Now we'll just do some leaves. So this one here, so I just check it first before I put glue on it. Go, okay, yep, it's good. Now if you want it to line up perfectly, this is a good way to do it. If you want it to be offset a bit, you, you can do it that way as well. So I'm just doing them lined up. It's just such, don't need glue on every little piece. You could use the uh, adhesive sheets as well and cut them out. So when you're die cutting, you put your adhesive sheet onto the cardboard first. I just tend to do it this way. I usually think about adhesive sheets after I've cut them. Because <laughs> I'm not used to using them. And I've just been used to doing it like this for so long. There's a leaf, here's another little leaf. I was sitting here doing it and I thought, you know what, I could just make a little video and share it with you all. It's always good to have little tips. I'm still picking up little tips and tricks everywhere along the way. So it's nice to share them as well because other people have shared them. So you don't need a lot of glue. If you do end up with too much glue, like I said, on the, on the sheet here, it'll just dry and you can just rub it off once it's dry. And I'll just use a tissue and dab it if I've got it too too much on the cardstock. So I've just eased that across by using my thumb and my finger to pull my thumb that way. And this one I push my thumb that way. A little, it's just very gentle, but it's a really good way to ease things across with the Tombow glue. So there's a couple of tips for you today. <laughs> I'll get on and finish my cards and I'll post them up later. Ciao.